Good morning fellow option traders. This is Jeff and welcome to the daily scan for Thursday, March 26, 2015. Uh, forgive me, I am adjusting my microphone sound level here. I uh, This is the second take on this recording. Reason being, um, I had it set up to record using the uh, internal microphone and couldn't even understand half of it, so um, I was messing around with my sound settings. So since this is take two, we're just going to go through this real quick. Um, just to let you know, surgery went well, and um, I'm actually walking without crutches already. So knee scope went good. Um, so Tuesday we had the CPI... PMI and new home sales. Uh, new home sales was the only one that was a little bit above the expected number. And then yesterday, um, durable, good, durable goods orders was below the expected number. But everything else is pretty much in line and still not sure how to interpret this particular one. For today, we have jobless claims. Tomorrow, GDP and consumer sentiment and anti Ellen in the afternoon. Uh, across the ponds in Asia, we mostly bearish, and pretty significantly so. And in Europe, pretty much the same thing. Um, big bears showing up all over the place. Saudi Arabia uh, exercising some of their um, military hardware and their people. Uh, very, very sad what happened here. Um, who knows what went on. It looks like as though something goofy was happening inside the aircraft. And I don't know what's going on with the Big Macs. And, but anyway, um, lots of things going on. Lots of craziness in the world. So we need to be careful. All right, so uh, looking here in the U.S., looks like... Uh, we will be opening down. Gold is climbing up well above 1200 in a big march. So I'm holding off on doing uh, selling a call on, on my position there. Uh, oil's at 51. The dollar's at 96.50 rounded off, which has fallen from the 100 or 101 that it was at. And the euro against the dollar is up to $1.10. So that's moving up. Uh, our positions over here, they're all negative delta, some more than others, uh, are doing well. It's some nail biting this week, but other than that, they're doing well. We're just going to jump right into the A-plus list and cover this real quick. Because basically, overall, I'm looking at a bunch of uh, potential trend reversals here. And I didn't get rid of this one in my previous uh, video, but I am now. So now it's gone. Almost everywhere that I look, we'd be looking for targets up here for the old bear call for right now, at least into next week's expiration. And it's pretty much it across the board. Uh, Amazon our shorts up here, we're doing well on closing that today. We'll be looking for another opportunity over here. Baidu. Um, definitely hitting the skids on Baidu. Looking for another opportunity here. Chipotle. Uh, we were in the money for quite a while on that and finally came around and continued down. And we got in, you know, based on what we saw here off the weekly because we were going for two weeks on this. So we had our target set here and we got our confirmation on this candle and we got in on that day. So um, it made us a little bit nervous here, but we're okay now. And I'll probably be closing that today as well anticipating that it's going to open down 650 690 665 yeah uh, I don't know what's going on here that's a really wide spread 
Uh, but you know, maybe somebody sold some at six ninety, or at uh, yeah, at six ninety, and somebody actually bought it at that. <laughs> anyway, um, that's the only thing that I can say. There is no last on here. Six sixty five, which is probably the close yesterday. So anyway, can't tell where that one's headed this morning, but I would imagine it's going to go with the rest, and this moving average is going to roll over. So. We'll move our target over to here. So we're thinking negative delta. Cost coal. Um, not sure. Well, I think we're going to get a rollover on that, but we don't really have enough confirmation on that at this point. Take a peek at the Dow. It's pulled back from this uh, previous high, which is not the all-time high here, but the previous high. So it looks like as though we have a lower high and maybe headed for a lower low. Gold, on the other hand, is marching up, and I put an alert on here at this level to say that, well, maybe if I if it gets up here, I might want to consider selling a call against my 100 shares that I have. Uh, Google... We have a simulated trade in here, and it's moved down below that short, and it expires tomorrow. Linked in, uh, we have. A, I put a target in here on the last video, looking to get on, in on this, uh, seeing that the trend is going to continue here after a pause, and the weekly looks like it's going to roll over. So we threw another target in on here. NDX, not really interested in it right now, just taking a look at it. Uh, slightly lower high and looking for possibly a lower low, but it's way too, it moves way too much. So I'm going to stand back on that one. Netflix, uh, we're in on that, on their upgrade. Here they went in the money and then they dropped below it as I was watching TV yesterday with my ice on my knee um, or the day before I should say so they have moved down below my short so I'm going to be closing that one today as well and actually let me go back there a second I have another I've identified another opportunity here a secondary entry for next week if uh, we move below here this alert at 419 uh, 65 and taking a look here, we have 300 shares, and the midpoint here is below, well, it's right about at 419, actually. So it may open down this morning and give us the alert, and we might be able to get in on this again. Not sure exactly where or what strike we get in, but it would be probably an expiration of next week, I would think. Priceline. Or maybe even the week after that. Who knows? Um, Priceline looks like as though it's going to be headed down. We missed an entry here. Too many days on this. It's a little too long in the old tooth here. We have two days on the confirmation. Um, one, two, three. And this is the fourth day actually on the stochastic. So we have to take a pass on that. So we'll move this over and look for another entry on that. The Russell. Uh, actually, you know, 12, 68, 16. It actually hit a new high here for a second. And now it has sunk below it. So we would be looking for an entry here, assuming that this moving average is going to roll over. Uh, SPX, now that is the one that we would be most interested in doing a trade on in the first part of a possible new downtrend on the daily and a possible rollover and a downtrend on the weekly. So we have a target set out over here. And Tesla. Um, Tesla, I think, is going to be headed south. We can actually probably, well, no. On the weekly, we're down, so we could possibly put an alert in on here. So I think I'm going to, below the low from yesterday, 
going to put an alert in. So now we have Tesla as an alertable trade as well. So Netflix and Tesla, we have alerts on for today, and that's it. Keeping it short, you know, take two. I already, I already said everything I wanted to say in the first video, so, <laughs> well, I compressed it. Yeah, that's the nice thing about doing two takes. I can compress it a little bit more. So uh, thank you very much for watching. Have a great day and happy trading.